Hey guys, welcome to the trailer build. We are gonna be setting up a brand new 22 by seven by seven full aluminum enclosed trailer to haul side by sides. Hey guys, welcome back. So we're gonna start the trailer build. Finally bit the bullet and got myself an enclosed like I've wanted for a long, long time. So uh, this thing is pretty sweet. It's 22 feet plus the Vinos, seven feet wide, seven feet high. Just heading to pick up my new trailer. I'm almost at Beckner and Sons Limited. Uh, they are a trailer manufacturer just outside London, Ontario here in Canada. So I'm pretty stoked. I've uh, been wanting this trailer for a long, long time. I should easily haul one or two side-by-sides. Obviously, being able to move two machines is always nice because if you're going somewhere further, you can split fuel. Or if you're think like me and thinking about getting a second unit, then uh, it's nice to have the options to move them both at the same time. So we'll go over the trailer when I get it home and I'll show you what I'm gonna be doing to it to get it set up. We're gonna paint it, we're gonna set it up for, um, for hauling, we're gonna put a toolbox, a bench in it, a generator, a heater, everything, the full nine yards. So stay tuned, this will be a fun video and hopefully if you're looking to outfit your trailer or thinking about getting one, this will give you some ideas on what to do. Here we are, Beckner Trailers. Alrighty, got the new trailer hooked up and uh, we're gonna head home. This actually, disclaimer, is not my trailer. As you notice, it's got a front door. Uh, this is a 22 by seven by seven like mine, but I'm picking up for my buddy Chris. His wasn't ready last week, mine was, so he was down here. He grabbed mine and I'm grabbing his now. His also has two little fuel doors on the sides here. I opted out of the fuel doors and I opted out of the front fold down tailgate because I'm gonna be putting uh, a workbench and stuff like that solid mounted to the front of my Vinos. So I won't be able to utilize that anyways. So I've just got the man door and the tailgate in the back. Otherwise the trailers are identical. It's a nice trailer, weighs about 950 kilograms. So it's not super heavy by any means. It's the first time I've got it hooked up to my truck. Uh, the airbags are inflated to about 45 PSI and the trailer's sitting a little, not quite as level as it should be. Um, so we're gonna have to mess with the hitch. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to get a slight drop, maybe like a, an inch and a half drop or something like that. But first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load it up with the side by side, see how it sits loaded, and then we'll set up the, uh, the hitch properly because I, I don't want the load sitting funny. I want it to be as level as I can to distribute that weight properly and have it handle as good as possible because it is a lot of trailer for my truck. Uh, especially loaded up with two machines and gear, it's gonna, it's basically gonna be maxing out the towing capacity of this machine, of this, um, this F-150. Uh, so, and it just rolled 400,000 K on it. Uh, so it's just broken in. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a lot of fun doing this trailer build and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you're looking for more info, check out Beckner and Sons Limited online. They treated me very well, very nice guys, locally made trailers, can't go wrong. I'm gonna get this puppy geared up with everything she needs to be ready to hit the trail and fix any problems we encounter along the way with the addition of a little bit of redneck camping. So we're gonna set this thing up to do everything and we're gonna try and do it on a budget. I mean, a budget, keeping in mind that, I mean, it's an expensive new trailer, right? But we're gonna try and do most of the work ourselves. I'm not really gonna buy much stuff. The first thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna spray out the trailer, get all the dust out of there. It's full of marine grade plywood already on all the walls and the floor. And the next step essentially is going to be painting the walls, painting the floor and painting the ramp. All right, here's the before. Nice and clean, nice marine grade plywood. It's caulked everywhere on almost the joints. Fit and finish is pretty good. We're in the V here. We're gonna utilize that whole V for basically our work area, our workbench and stuff like that. Um, I'm getting a diesel heater for it. We're gonna build a table, some racking. Uh, we'll set up some storage options. I got some E-Track to put down on the floor. I've ordered um, a bunch of LED lights for the top here. We're gonna illuminate this thing really nice. Yeah, we'll get a generator in here. We'll get a compressor in here, a toolbox, uh, set some stuff up for all the riding gear and all that jazz. 
All right, first step to the trailer build is going to be to paint the floor, paint the walls, and paint the tailgate. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you tune in to future episodes so that you can stay up to date with the progress of this trailer build. If you enjoyed the video, then please consider subscribing to the channel, it really helps out. Also, follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. If you'd like to help support the channel and fund future projects, then check out our Shopify store where we have a ton of Wicked stickers and swag. Ride safe out there, and we'll see you in the next video.